first video of 2022. In today's video, we're gonna go on a short five mile run. I wanted to go over my new Garmin Heart Rate Monitor Pro, why I use it, what it's used for. I took this out of the box here. It comes with instructions, which is great, but it usually pairs with your Bluetooth rather easily. Put it on first, make sure that the Garmin, if you're putting it on, like when you're reading it, is upside down and it should go right under your breastbone. Rather snug, but it shouldn't really take your breath away. Should maybe get like a finger or two underneath the strap. Pretty good fit right now. I'll take it off because I'm not going for my run just yet. In order to connect it to your watch and your phone, uh, you do need to wear it though. What I use the heart rate monitor for is especially getting into the Boston Marathon prep of things. I've been training with a heart rate monitor for the last year. The biggest thing that I use it for is just a little bit more of an accurate reading of my heart rate. Knowing I go off of a little bit of combination of heart rate and perceived effort, I want to make sure that I'm in the right heart rate zones and training rather effectively. It's with a grain of salt. It's not going to be 100% every single time. I just use it for that aspect of things just because it gives me a little bit more of an effective reading of my heart rate. I usually wear it every single time that I go out for a run just to collect a little bit more data. It does offer cadence, stride length, so how far you're traveling each stride, ground contact time, so how long your foot is on the ground each stride length, a vertical oscillation, so how high or how small your chest is rising each stride. You wanna make sure that you're propelling yourself forward as much as possible and not getting wasted energy going up. I do look at that a little bit, but especially getting into like tempo runs or strides, I really look at ground contact time to make sure that my feet are coming up and my cadence are roughly around that 180 steps per minute. It does have a balanced cadence. So if you're 50-50 or you know 51-49, today since I am taking Wrigley out, I do not expect to be 50-50. The biggest thing though that I use it for is just heart rate, a little bit more effective heart rate. Ground contact time comes in second, cadence third, uh, and then rest of the running analytics. I don't really dive too much into, but it's just a good gathering uh, information, especially if you're hypercritical and super analytical. The heart rate monitor does give a lot more detail into your runs, especially as you're trying to progress. Maybe drop time a little bit here and there. We've got a beautiful day out here in Texas. Blue skies, but it's super windy. It's like 20 something with the wind chill. I'm gonna put this heart rate monitor on. We're gonna get after our five miles, so we will see you when that happens. Beautiful, nice and sunny, but yesterday I was in just shorts. Wrigley for a loop here. Usually we always go left. It's the middle of the day, cars are out. I went right. Mile number two is already done. Another 751 pace, good boy. He hasn't ran in a while, so he's got that speed going. Mile three, good. 750, starting to go up into zone three, just a hair. He's doing fine, I'm doing fine. Come on, buddy. Last uphill. Mile four, another 751. He's a good pacer. Woo wee! Five miles in the books. It looks like it's a beautiful day out. The wind chill is killing me though. Really felt different efforts throughout that run. Wrigley, how'd you feel? He felt great. So a little bit more stats from the run. So five miles in total, 39.20 on the watch. Average heart rate was 137, which is pretty good. I'll take anything under 140, especially on easy days. I like the heart rate monitor personally, uh, the strap, because it gives you a little bit more of an accurate reading of your heart rate, especially if you do train with heart rate based uh, efforts. So today was relatively easy. Anything under 140, like I said earlier, is perfect, I'd love to have that. The heart rate strap does give you a little bit more run analytics as well. Uh, my cadence were a little bit off just because I had a little bit extra weight on my left hand side to all run. I like it for my endurance training, especially going into the Boston Marathon. I go off of perceived effort and a little bit of heart rate work 
Today was a five mile easy day. Smooth, easy. Now I need to warm up a little bit. Once my hands unfreeze, I'm gonna get some hot chocolate, shower, chill on the couch, watch some football. Another week of training done. We'll see you in the next video. Go make it a great day.